Yeah, fuck mash. So we'll do that next time so I don't look like a fucking dope just waiting for the music to kick in. Gotcha. Um, speaking of music, we got a fucking banger uh, today. Um, I don't know if you can play it, but we got uh, my old friend Colbert. I don't know what his first name is. It's probably Jim. Uh, Stephen Colbert, correct? Stephen. Stephen Colbert, um, who... Uh, he's like he's like your father-in-law, just some queef. <laughs> right? <laughs> he's just a walking, talking, suit-wearing queef. Who? He's just so concerned about being the nice guy all the time. You kind of wonder if he has any soul. You wonder if he's pure, one hundred percent evil. At the end of the day, that's what I always get when all these guys called bear. Um, it is Colbert, right? The yeah. one I'm thinking of, Stephen Colbert. Who's the little wormy one there? Because I don't, I don't watch any late night TV. Neither do I. I know I... Jimmy Fallon. There's Fallon, um, the dude that was uh, Seth Meyers on a. Seth Meyers is the one I think I'm thinking of. Yeah, Seth I think Ma- that might be. Seth Meyers is the little small one, isn't it? He looks like a rat, Stuart yeah, Little kinda. or something. Yeah, Seth Meyers is another one I don't watch. I've never seen a single thing he's ever said. I, I've, I don't know, but I, I. I've seen them. I get it. Mm-hmm. Is fat is Kimmel still on? I think Kimmel's yes. Kimmel's still going. I've never. Uh, you only ever hear Kimmel every now and again when he's crying because a turtle <laughs> fucking got a cigarette put out on its face or something <laughs> like that. It's like it's always just like what what's going on? Mm-hmm. What are these animals? The late night James Gordon's another fat fucking fool. He's out there fucking doing the macarena mm-hmm. <laughs> in front of a fucking children's <laughs> hospital. <laughs> He's had to say, all right, yeah, we decided to hand out Twinkies to the first responders down here on 9-11. He's there doing, he's doing, imagine a terrorist attack. All right, now is your chance. We're doing a fucking lip sync. Abba. Waterloo. Just meanwhile, people are just like, their homes are burning down. And he's there, he's there fucking outside a fucking hurricane. Some hurricane wipes through somewhere in Louisiana. James Gordon comes down. James Gordon comes down with Kevin Hart and the two of them fucking <laughs> Waterloo. Diddly doodly Waterloo. Can we get food? Can we get. He goes by in a helicopter. That's what we're going to see someday. Is there'll be a fucking hurricane wiped out some shitsville town in either Louisiana or Mississippi and they'll send in the boys a chopper, just choppers with cameras. It'll be James Gordon and he's hanging out the side. And it'd be almost like fucking apocalypse now. It'd be James <laughs> Gordon and Katy Perry, and they'd be hanging out the side of me. Dun da 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 And everyone's gonna look up, and they're like, "Oh, you're here to save us!" And then they're gonna go, "No, we got a lip sync, Madonna." <laughs> um, yeah. So he's a fat fucking fat blobby idiot. Kimmel, I don't know what he does. He he seems like the almost the most down to earth of them all. Fallon, I kind of like Fallon. Fallon's just a booze hound. <laughs> I don't think Fallon has any opinions on anything <laughs> other than where's where's the next fucking Johnny Walker Black? Give me a Johnny Walker Black and we'll talk. <laughs> Fallon has no opinion. He's just like bouncing around, googly eyed fucking muppet. <laughs> He's just playing guitar and doing these games. He's like. All right, let's do the Never Have I Ever game with, <laughs> with uh, Ariana Grande. <laughs> it's, yeah, you know, he just brings out um, Billy Eilish and just asks, have you ever got fingered in an alleyway, Billy? <laughs> so, but I, I actually kind of like Fallon the most. Because really? he's a fucking dirty drunk. And every now and again, he'll just show up with his arm in a sling. <laughs> <laughs> Fallon's the best. Fallon's known to be just walking around New York two o'clock in the day shit face drunk <laughs> he has five o'clock shadow his shirt's hanging off him he has a hickey he's he, you know he has a black guy he's just stumbling around with a bottle of Colt 45 <laughs> just screaming at people at Central Park <laughs> you're like what do you do and he's just like ah, and he starts tap dancing on a taxi in the middle of the fucking city <laughs> everyone's like what are you doing fat Jimmy it's 11am he's like oh it's fucking midnight somewhere baby <laughs> and then eventually his chaperone comes and finds him and they they just bring him into the his MB, NBC studios and they scrub him up and they, they give him a sniff of something. <laughs> I don't know what they break. They break that smelling salts and, you know, it's Coke. And <laughs> so next thing you know, he's washed up, he's made up. They just wheel him out. 
<laughs> like a robot and he's like oh welcome to fucking the tonight show <laughs> and he's wasted he must be blackout drunk every night i actually like him because all the horse shit that he says is him just surviving until he can start drinking again i, I can see it in it i know what i know because i'm i am him without the talent and the money and all i know who he is jimmy fallon i can see it in his eyes every time he's just sitting there Looking at Tom Cruise or whatever, you can just see his eyes just waiting. <laughs> he just, he can hear the jingle of the ice. They, oh, fuck, just give me that. Give me a beer, give me champagne, give me gin. You know he's slugging gin like a fucking widower. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon just fucked up. Yeah, all day. And, you know, he'll walk in sometimes and he has his head in a bandage and he comes up or something and he's like, oh, I was down in the orphanage. <laughs> he always has some friendly... Jimmy Fallon story. Mm-hmm. Oh, I slipped on my child's uh, toy truck and I fell down the <laughs> stairs. And you go, come on, dude. You were you were fucking running away from your tab. You ran away from uh, One Oak. And uh, you got into a fight with a bouncer. You got hit by a fucking truck because you were day drinking at 8 a.m. in the morning. <laughs> you had no idea what happened. <laughs> but everything he does, all the horse shit that he does, all the games, all of the how... I don't even know who's watching. It's crazy that this is an entire world. And no one seems to watch it. This entire late night shit. Who's watching? Who's watching it? I really don't. I don't know a single fucking person who's ever been like, put on the late night shit. Especially now that you have the options of not watching it. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't understand when your options are watching it and not watching it. Who's choosing the first one? <laughs> That's wild. Sit down. Oh, great. Reese Witherspoon's promoting her new TV show. Let's listen to this fake story about the time she fucking got her crack waxed. Great. Let's listen to some other manufactured story that somehow conveniently fits perfectly within the commercials. Every celebrity story that they fucking spew just happens to fit perfectly. Do you ever notice that? Mm-hmm. As a beginning, a middle, and <laughs> end, a callback. Boop, boop, boop. By the way, here's some fucking shit about Toyota you should watch. <laughs> here's some drugs you should buy that are gonna fucking get you addicted to fucking opioids or whatever. Um, so all the shows are brutal. Fallon, I, I like, because he's a booze hound. Kimmel, I've, I don't know nothing about him. He seems like the most normal. He seems like just, he's out. He's, he, he, you know, he used to bang Sarah Silverman. He fucking wore blackface for a little bit. He is just a man of the people. He kind of, he's just your regular dude. He's just your regular man who's worth $250 million. He's just your regular dude. You know, he doesn't seem to do it. Every now and again, he's cr- the, cr- the crying is a lot. Oh, the, the fucking tsunami in Japan. Shut up. Shut the fuck up. We know you're lying. We know you're lying about this. <laughs> And then who else is there? Does that a little Mike Myers, whatever his name was? I don't watch him ever. And then um, James Gordon, he's out there. He, he, you know, he's he's interrupting traffic, dressed dressed in a tutu, so he can advertise like Toy Story fifteen or whatever it is that he's fucking peddling now. And now you've got um, our boy, our friend Stephen Colbert, who. Um, and and I hate trashing all these guys. I'm not trashing Jimmy Fallon. I like Jimmy Fallon. I feel like that's the only one that might ever give me an opportunity <laughs> to be on step <laughs> perform comedy on. So listen, take what I say with a grain of salt. <laughs> Your boy's a climber still. Collie's still a collie climbs. <laughs> Every now and again, Collie can be a climber. All right, <laughs> Fallon, I love you, and your and the Booker, I love you too. You're the best. Um. Cold beer, I can never, I can't ever imagine myself ever getting cold beer. It's also the worst one. They bring you out, and they have you stand there, and then they have the audience forty-five miles away, and you just have to t- go out, and you got to like talk about being trans or whatever ho- gimmick. It's very gimmicky. Mm-hmm. You can't just go out and be like, "Yo, here's a bit about Dunkin' Donuts." It's got to be, "Oh, you know, fucking growing up as an Asian American." It was very difficult because I had a lot of bullies. I had 278 bullies to be exact. I remember because I'm good at math. <laughs> and you're like, 
We need a fucking Asian genocide. And we'll talk about that later on too. <laughs> Put that on the back burner. But we'll, remind me, TW, write that down. Got you. We need to get to the Asian, Asian gen- genocide. Yeah, yeah. Asian American genocide. <laughs> um, I'm all for it. Uh, but Colbert, he, and as far as I know, he wasn't always that bad. As far as I know, he used to be. Um, oh, we just got breaking news. Lil Sasquatch is going to do a spot at the show. Nice. There you go. See, Collie can be a climber too. When tickets are tough, <laughs> book a kid with 2 million followers. <laughs> nice. <laughs> and then I'm like, nice. <laughs> See that? It's sold out now. The show, it's already sold out. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. The, the, my album recording I was, I was promoting, it's gone. You're fucked. By the time you see this, I'm living on a yacht. <laughs> Baby, fuck you. I'm having pina coladas and I'm fucking doing some questionable shit to some hot women. Hot young women. <laughs> <laughs> um, so there you go. There you go. Hopefully now that's... If that doesn't sell out now, if that doesn't sell tickets, I'm, well. I'm fucked. I'm <laughs> fucked. <laughs> 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 that doesn't sound think it's I'm fucked. <laughs> I got Dan Soda and Lil Sasquatch. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't give them away. Couldn't fucking give them away these tickets. <laughs> Couldn't pay Couldn't pay someone to fucking come watch this shit, dude. <laughs> 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 that's so funny that's just live <laughs> and so open to the opposite of what you're supposed to be doing <laughs> faking it till you make it on my deep pure I'm fucked I'm fucked help me help me <laughs> Lil Sasquatch help dude I'm fucked <laughs> I'm not a look a fool <laughs> sending out the SOS an SOS to fucking Lil Sasquatch anyway <laughs> I'm happy to let this kid go bomb for seven minutes <laughs> so that I can sell out tickets to, a, to an audience that's never seen comedy in their life. Uh, and then I can put up a big sold out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that's funny as hell, that is. Anyway, so Colbert, um, he, um, as far as I know, he started to get a bit of popularity during the trump years like that was like the trump the being an anti-trump guy was big for him big for him and then he sort of he kind of once you start selling your soul <laughs> not that i know why that's like at all once you start <laughs> selling your soul <laughs> that's the funniest thing to ever get captured on camera <laughs> My pyramid scheme of a, of a fucking comedy show. Um, no, do come out. If you, hopefully, if, if it's not sold out, you should come out. It's going to be a lot of fun, I swear to God. Ari might be coming in too, but he, um, I don't know. We'll see. Nice. Um, so uh, Colbert, yeah, and he did this. And, and late night, too. so Colbert got into this world of, and it's all corporate shit. This is the worst thing about this late night stuff and mainstream stuff. And all this mainstream shit is the is the sheep in wolf's clothing, you know? It's the sheep in, in Coca-Cola sponsorship, <laughs> right? It's the it's their like they're just walking around getting paid millions of dollars by Diageo, you know, the the, the alcohol company that kills more people than anyone else in the world. <laughs> you know what I mean? And they they're out there, they're tap dancing, they've got fucking David Beckham on kicking a football at James Gordon's face. What if you kick a cake at my face, <laughs> David Beckham? <laughs> um so it's like the whole time they're telling you what to do. When they were doing their Zoom shows from home, it was catastrophically the worst thing. That was like the we forget how bad that was, but when they decided to go into their mansions <laughs> and be like <laughs> sitting there <laughs> just they're sitting on a couch, an ugly, uncomfortable couch that's worth uh, one point six million dollars. <laughs> and they're they're talking about all the nurses and all this like the front line, we gotta clap uh, bang our pots and pans tonight at 7 p.m. Not in my neighborhood. We we, uh, we don't condone noise here. Um, fucking Kimmel brings out his staff, brings out his fucking wait, his, his, uh, his maid and his chef. And he's like, where do you keep the pots and the pans? <laughs> 
Maria, Maria, pots and pan, panzo, el pano. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Um, so that was crazy. Um, when we saw just how truly bad it was. When you bring away, when you take away the audience, when you take away the gimmicks and the lights and and the cameras, um, you can re- it really strip bare just how truly horrific these <laughs> shows were. And they're just like on a on a delay talking to Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt, when was the last time you saw any of your kids? Brad Pitt? And he, <laughs> Brad Pitt's just high getting blown off some beautiful fucking supermodel. Um, so it was truly bad. And I've, I've never watched them. I, knew, I didn't grow up on them. So it's like coming in fresh to these things. It's like really hits you. When you don't, you've never seen it. It's like SNL. I didn't grow up on SNL. So I've only really seen SNL since I, I know it now. And it's just like when you walk in like that, you're like, fuck. Mm-hmm. It's, like a, it's like a guy who gets fat. And you and you, but you see him every day get fatter. You're not, you don't know how fat this cunt is. <laughs> and I just walk in and go, "Holy shit! Look at the fucking size of this beast." <laughs> it's the same with how bad these shows are. Yeah, truly horrific. I remember, um, a few years ago, and this was the biggest, craziest eye opener. Just how horrific late night TV is. And I, I, I honestly can't even imagine because I, maybe it's because I don't live and I've never been. In the Midwest of this country, where I'm, where where I'm just morbidly obese fourteen year olds. You know, like like I'm not a f- morbidly obese fourteen year old. You know, so fat where they they start to grow more bellies and then their their gut has guts and it starts to droop and bounce. It's like just fucking the most disgusting shit you've ever seen. They're so f- and they just somehow their genes. It's like how do your genes manage to fit the extra ass that you have on, hanging on the inside of your thigh? What's going on there? So I don't know those people out there. And I think that's who watch this. I just can't even imagine a world. The only people who watch it, they're so lazy, they won't even reach for the remote control. I think that's who it is. Or just old people who, who have dementia, who just sort of need noises going on. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so all these guys, they are the root of all evil. They, they, they advertise Coca-Cola. They, they advertise fucking... The, the, they're, they're working for companies that, that, that burn down villages in Africa and all this type of stuff. And meanwhile, they're talking about how great they are. Um, that was one point I wanted to make. And I make lots of points on this show. <laughs> I do not ramble. 